Okay, I'm going to record this video on my phone because the camera is out of battery and it's currently charging. So today I am just finishing up new releases. The designs are fully finished and now I'm just starting to print them. Um, so I have both printers running and we are just slowly waiting for these to print. Um, I am thinking about bringing over... We have another one of these Canon Pro 100s that I'm thinking of bringing over just because um, some days we are just overwhelmed and need a lot of printing power. Um, but this one over here is printing the journaling and the deco, and then the kits are printing out of this one. Casper is over here. He's playing a game on his snuffle mat. But yeah, I... I'm thinking about doing a little restock on some of our supplies because um, we're low on sticker paper. We are, the office is a mess by the way, like don't even look over there. But also need to restock like thank you cards and some of the washies are low inventory. But yeah, the office is a disaster currently um we just have a lot of things going on right now two weeks ago was the ultimate planner sale so i'm finishing up orders for that and then we also have two dollar tuesday so this week's two dollar tuesday is new year's foil and we're doing things a little bit out of order since we're just kind of all over the place in terms of um, designs so we are releasing or we released new year's a little bit earlier and next couple of weeks we're going to be releasing our winter and our christmas foils so stay tuned for those those are coming next week and the following weeks um, but this is all of our inventory from last year's new year's and Art Deco collection. We decided to combine them into one to release for this week um, just because we don't have full collections of either ones. So yeah, this is just the inventory that we have left from last year. I'll probably have my mom start working on this week's $2 Tuesday order so I can get them out as quickly as possible. But yeah, as you saw from the printer, I'm going to have a lot of foiling to do this weekend. So I will be one very busy bee this weekend. I just took a 30 minute break to play with some Legos. I'm currently building the Dunder Mifflin office. Um, it's been really fun so far making all of the characters and just putting this together but a decent amount has printed out so i am currently now working on printing the overlay elements um, with the laser printer both printers are still running and yeah so i'm just waiting for this to print it's kind of taking a while hopefully can get these all printed and then i can have my mom start cutting them tomorrow but i do need to make a set for photos to post on instagram um and so i can share with you guys what the kits look like at the end of the video so i'm gonna go back to printing these it has been a minute since I did a sit down flip through of our new releases. This week we have three brand new weekly kits in the shop that are currently available. Before I jump into the flip through, if you're not already, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. And make sure to hit that like button because it really helps us out and lets us know what kind of content you like. So one more thing before I get started, these collections are 20% off this weekend only. So if you are eyeing any of these kits, I highly recommend that you grab them while they're on sale. It's a really good deal. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the flip through. Um, we have two Christmas themed kits and then one... New Year's kit. I realize now that I'm actually missing the journaling and the deco sheets. Um, I have yet to cut those, so I just have the weekly kit here, but we have the matching journaling kits for Hugo Christmas and for New Year's, but we don't have one for Feast because that is actually one of our 
winter floral journaling kits that are going to come for $2 Tuesday. So there's no journaling kit to match with this kit if you are looking for it. Um, we do have a deco available for all three kits. So that is what is available in the shop currently. But let's just go ahead and flip through these kits. This first one is called Feast, and as you can see, it's just a giant Christmas dinner. Honestly, you could probably use this for Thanksgiving um, if you wanted to, but there is a Christmas tree, and we do have a Thanksgiving kit in our shop if you are looking for one, but here is just a close-up of these full boxes. I really love the quote box. It says, Warmest Wishes. And this kit is in gold foil, which I think rose gold foil was actually what won on the Instagram poll, but I personally think gold looks better, so that is what I went with. Then we have the headers. We have a variety and the bottom washi, which just has these dangle overlays. Super pretty, layered with the garland. And then we have our functional boxes, which again comes in a variety of shapes. They all look like rectangles or squares, but they are actually have little cute edges. Um, some of them are arches, like this little box here. So these boxes are all different shapes and corners. Um, so yeah, I really love our functional box page. And then the last page, we have our date covers, some watercolor swatches. You have your sidebar stickers, a couple of checklists, um, some layering stickers, and these scalloped circles here at the bottom, which are super cute. So that is Feast. If you're looking for a super colorful Christmas kit. This is definitely it. Next, we have a more neutral Christmas kit. This one is called Hugo Christmas. And for the quote box, I went with Home for the Holidays. And this kit just has a lot of neutrals, tan colors. Um, there is some pops of mint and like this, um, I don't really know how to describe this coral color. Um, it's coming up brighter on camera, so it's a little bit more muted in person. But this kit is in rose gold foil, which I think matches really well with the pinky tan colors. Really pretty. Here is the headers. You have some scalp headers, and then you have your bottom washi which I just want to keep simple with some floral and sparkles. Then we have our boxes page. You get a whole variety of shapes and sizes. Love these scalloped half boxes. And then lastly, here's the date covers, sidebar stickers, Layering stickers, flags, and scalp circles. So that is Hugo Christmas. Super cute. I don't know which one I'm going to use. Um, honestly, I think so far Feast has been more popular, but I really do love Hugo Christmas. Anyway, moving on to the last new release. This is actually a reformat from last year's New Year's kit. Um, this kit was super popular last year, so we decided to bring it back. Um, I did change the foiling a little bit on this kit, um, especially on the florals. They're a little bit less blocky this year, is how I describe it, um, but still features all of the gorgeous art from last year. I really love this box with the clocks on it. Here's the bottom functional boxes and then here's the headers. 
as well as the Bonamashi. And this kit is in gold foil. I think last year I did gold glitter for this kit and if you don't know, gold glitter is really difficult to work with. It just flakes everywhere so I think I was breathing in gold glitter foil dust like for weeks. It was awful so this year I decided to go with just plain gold and I think it turned out beautiful. So yeah, this is the functional page. I really love all the florals and yeah, so that is New Year's 2023. I can't believe it's already almost the new year. Where has the time gone? But those are all three kits that I have for you this week. Let me know in the comments which kit is your favorite. For me, it's really hard to choose. Um, I personally love all of these equally. I think they turned out all so amazing. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Be sure to subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!